this crazy thing is our methylation cycle. And you can see it's a pretty complex cycle. I mean, there's a lot going on here, but this is something that's actually happening in our bodies every day. When we're talking about MTHFR, that's just one gene. And within the methylation cycle, there's multiple genes that play a role into this. So understand that this is something that's bigger than all of us actually really think that it could be. It's one little gene inside this huge cycle of what's going on. So with MTHFR, we have variances, and this is what's really important to understand and note. So with learning, this is where people come to me and they said, hey, I have the MTHFR gene. What do I do? And I say, well, what variants do you have? And they say, I don't know. I just was told I have MTHFR. We need to understand and break it down a little bit further. MTHFR is a gene. The variances are the different types of gene. So we have FR as a gene. Then we have two different types of variances that someone can have. They can have the C or the 1298C variant. Now that kind of gets broken down again, where you could have just one copy of one of those variances, which we classify as hetero, or you could have two copies of that variance, which is homozygous. You could also have what we call compound hetero, which means one of each. So we have to, when you do speak to a practitioner or somebody and you want to learn more about the gene, you should explain what the variance is because that's what's really important to understand. 